This is the Yisoyed. We're saying here, this is the Yisoyed of Avedas Hashem. But it's also very much the Yisoyed of Chassidus in general. And this is what the Baal Shem Tev was trying to accomplish with, uh, with Chassidus. This idea of serving Hashem. The Baal Shem Tev came along and he made this revolution. You want Kedusha? You have to be an Eved of Hashem. And if not, you can be a Baki Bishas. And you can do every mitzvah to a tea. But if you're all, if it's all about you, even if the you is Avas Hashem, but if it's all about you and your yeshes, then to Kedusha you have no shaykhs. And therefore the Baal Shem Tev, as we know, he was mechaviv, he held very, very dear and very precious Dafke the simple Yidin. We know the Baal Shem Tev had a tremendous chavivus for the Pashta Yidin. More so than the big Tommy de which obviously raises the question, which I think we have spoken about in the past also. Why should a Pashta Yid be more precious than a Tamil Chacham? What advantage does he have? That he didn't learn Shas? You know, Baal Shem Tev looks at two Yidin, you learn Shas, you didn't learn Shas. Ah, look at that Yid, he didn't learn Shas. How special? How does that make sense? Why would the Baal Shem Tev have this special place in his heart for the Pashta Yidin? What, what does he have? If you're going to want to say, you want to tell me that the Baal Shem Tev had such Avaz Yisrael that he even had a tremendous love for the Pashta Yidin? That's amazing. That makes sense. Avas Yisrael, you have to love every single Yid. He loved every single Yid. Even the Yid was a very Pashta Yid. That I can accept. But why would he have this special Chavivus? This special affinity for the Pashta Yidin? But now we understand. What is the hallmark of a Pashta Yid? The hallmark of a Pashta Yid is that he's a soldier. He's not a big Tamad Chacham. He doesn't know the whole Shas. He didn't learn all the different Sfarim. All he knows is one thing. Hashem told me I have to wake up in the morning and daven. I wake up in the morning and daven. Hashem tells me I have to put on tefillin. I put on tefillin. Hashem tells me I have to keep kosher. I keep kosher. Hashem tells me I have to can't work. With a Pashtus. With a Pashtus. And the Abba Hashem Tev looked at that and said, Wow! Wow, look at that Kedusha! And this is a Kedusha that Tamil Chacham, because he's a Baki Bishas and therefore is so arrogant and so full of himself, he doesn't have that Kedusha. He doesn't have that Bittl Tashem. To him, everything makes sense and everything's beautiful and he's enjoying life and it's a meaningful life and he's loving the learning. And where is Hashem? Where is Hashem in all of this? The Baal Shem Tev came along and that was his big, that was his big Kedush to Yidin. The Big Chiddush was that we, it sounds like a Big Chiddush, we have to start serving Hashem. It's not about how much Torah you learn, it's not about how many mitzvahs you do, it's about how much Kedusha is in the Torah and the mitzvahs. And the Kedusha comes from the Bittal. The Kedusha comes from doing something simply because Hashem tells you to do it.